And hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Alright, so today we'll be talking about groups. So here I just have a basic panel, it's nothing special. And we can just go here to nodes and groups. Now why are groups? Why well, use groups? So basically, groups are like tags. They help you tag some things, put them in a category, you know. So all the enemies go into this category. All the neutral NPCs go into this category. A node can be added to as many groups as you desire though. So if you have a node in one group, then you can add that node in a second group as well. So first let's do it from the UI side to make it easy. So first let's create a group called enemies. Enemies, you can add that group. And here you have a group called enemies. There you have it. We'll get later on to actually using these enemies and actually putting things in them and stuff. But for right now, that's how you do it from here. You just go to node, group, and then you add a group called whatever you want. Otherwise, we can go here and we can just say like add a script and we just create a script. And right here, we can delete all the unnecessary code because that just takes extra space, which I, I like to use. Now, from the codes version of doing this, you can go to the ready function that's given to you. Then you can go add to group. And here you can add a group called enemies. So what we just did before is exactly the same as like we did in code. We just did it with a GUI. So this panel will now be added to the group enemies. So let's actually run this and try and see if it works. Okay, so no errors which means it will probably work fine. Now, let's go back to, let's say the player wasn't sneaking when he went into the cave or the player or the enemy base. And now all the enemies should be notified like, hey, this guy is, you know, what, 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 he's here. So let's write in a temporary function called on discovered. So if the player was discovered, then we can say, get tree dot call group and then we can do something such as enemies because we gotta call the enemies now they have to be notified and then we have to say like what should what should have been called like uh, player was this this Discover. Discover. I spelled discover wrong here. So basically, we're just saying, hey, tell the enemies that the player was discovered. We'll get more into using these later, but for right now, I'm just showing you the basics of them. So this just basically calls the entire group and notifies the entire group that, hey, this has happened. And uh, just so you know, this is a function. So you have to actually write this function. We can actually go here. So on ready, we can actually go print and say get tree dot get nodes in group. And then we can say enemies. Now, if we run this, And let's see, yeah, there it says panel. That's an enemy in the group. So yeah, that is basically all there is for the group right now. We'll get deeper into it later, but for right now, it's fine. Just know the basics. Just know that, hey, you can add things to groups, and that group can later on be called, and you can like do things with it, and which is very cool, and whatnot. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and see you all in the next video.